Harrison and I had a homestead here, and I'm Jeff. Today, we're gonna to get fired up today. We're gonna to talk about fire. Briefly, I just wanted to talk this. A lot of my viewers have been sending me emails and, and, and other comments saying, hey, that Sholo fire, that cedar fire, how close are you? Is it, is it threatening your property? What's the story behind all that? So, you know, I thought it would be a great opportunity to just tell you, all of you, as of this day, what is today, the 21st of, uh, of June, that the fire is about nine and a half to 10 miles south of Sholo. The trigger point for evacuation from Sholo is at nine miles, so they got another half mile, but the fire is going south, not north. And I am another 35 miles from Sholo northwest, or I'm sorry, northeast. And so I'm okay, and there's a lot of homes and other important property between me and the fire that I should be okay. But that doesn't mean that another fire can start somewhere else because those embers, they can travel a long ways. So I have to keep an eye out. The sky, it, it varies depending on the, uh, the wind. Sometimes I can smell the smoke, sometimes I can't. Um, sometimes you got a haze in the sky, sometimes you don't. Um, it's just a matter of the wind. Like right now, there's no wind today. So that should really help out the, the firefighters, um, which also reminds me, you know what? All of you who serve in any kind of capacity on the response units, the, the, those who fight the wildfires, those who even support the wildfire folks, you know, the firefighters, you know, those who, who, who do all the logistics, every one of you are very important. We thank all of you. You guys have a tough, a freaking heat, hot job. But um, we appreciate all that you do. And you know what? When you do see the firemen out there, even if it's a standard fireman, a volunteer fireman, a forest fireman, whatever you want to call them, take a moment to shake their hand and say thank you for what you do. So anyhow, um, so let me just show you some, um, some stuff I found on the internet about the Cedar Fire. And um, basically this video is just to let some of my viewers know, hey, I'm a long ways away from that fire. And... Um, now perfectly safe, Concho is safe, my dog. In fact, he's even sleeping. I'll show you him here in a second. Sleepy dog, Concho. Say hi to YouTube. Oh, is that a wave or of a stretch, huh? Concho's chilling on the guest bed. So I'm not too sure how this is going to turn out, but this website here is a fantastic website to get wildfire information from. So here we've got the Cedar Fire. Where am I at? Right there, the Cedar Fire. Here's a map of it. That spot right there tells you the, the origination point. Shows up here, my top leg side down here, and I'm over here. Fire is going south. It's at, at what, 37,000 acres it's saying right now. See right there, 37,000 acres. So this is a great website to get an idea on some of the news. Um, and this is information that was reported a couple hours prior to me uh, doing this recording, obviously. There's information like, for an example, right here. Okay, location change for Sholo meeting. So at 5:30 today, they're going to hold a meeting, and uh, it's just going to be at at the LDA LDS Stage Center, and uh, that's kind of nice that they give you information about that. That's to give the residents some more information about the uh, evacuation, the fire status, and, and their predictions and all that. I'm not going to attend, but they'll up, once they finish that meeting, they'll put an update on this website. So. But you can, you can always view other things as well. But let's see if we can uh, see some pictures of this, uh, this fire here.
stay tuned for some other videos. I think I'm going to do some videos about the heat, about the hot, um, about some ways I'm trying to keep my dog cool. And uh, so you'll have to stay tuned. So that means you better subscribe so you, so you can catch all the action here at Arizona Hot Homestead. And I'll catch you later.